Okay, people. Uh, let me move this pry bar, which is the bottom. Right there, see the pry bar? I'm just using it to hold the wheel from spinning. I'll try this. You can see it spins, all right? Once I wedge it, it won't spin. So you understand, just anything to wedge it, but off the ground. Do your torquing off the ground, not on the ground. <laughs> you're, you're trying to slide your tire with all the weight on it when it's on the ground. See, many mechanics, well, most mechanics do that. They don't torque in the air, like I'm going to show you here. This is only pinning the tire and then applying the clamp force with the bolts. All the other torque that you see, all these mechanics for 40, 50, 60 years doing it any other way than this, meaning off the ground, they're not closing this up with the proper torque. All right, it's, dra it's the tire has to slide across the ground and pull into the hub there, if you will. And now I'm gonna show you the advantage of a beam bar because each bolt is an individual bolt. Rust, torque, uh, lube, I mean rust, um, lubrication based on it, uh, based on lubrication, it's friction, etc. And we have to overcome that initially, but I do that, I just lube it up. I, I lube it up and then I let this tell me the difference of each single individual child all right so let's look use that child there so i have this let's see if i can if it's wedged so i'm going to let that turn a little more okay so what i did was i let it turn and wedge wedge that and now we'll keep eye on this beam bar all right you'll keep an eye on this so i can lower it down for you a little more and turn it so you're going to watch this increase at some point around 80, it will, it will stop increasing, but I'll still be able to rotate the bar. All right, rotating the bar, but not increasing uh, torque pounds, foot pounds, just means I'm, I'm stretching or putting tension on the bolt, on, but bolt nut only, but not getting any extra clamp force, any real extra clamp force to watch. We're at 80, 80, not 80, right about there. Oops, I lost my tire. Let me step on that. Let me step on that clamp. Lock it in a better. I'm trying to do this slow so it's kind of different. So we're at 80. It's still increasing. All right. Let me make sure you can see it. It's still increasing. At one point, it won't increase anymore. And this will still keep turning. All right. Let's go to the next one. So to keep this in camera, I'm going to rotate the tire. Pull the bar out, rotate the tire. I'm gonna give you a better shot, maybe. Let's do that. I lost it, sorry. Lost my clamp. It's on dirt, so you can imagine how I can get a slip. Okay. So there it is, I'm at 100, or 80, 85 for that one. And I'm gonna still push down on it. Now it moved, it's moved from this position further down, but the torque didn't increase. So all I'm doing is stretching. That's the, that's the uh, idea behind it. Now if I take this off, of course it just spins the tire. But again, if you have the tire on the ground, you're trying to, you're going to get a false torque reading because if this is out of uh, skew, if this is cocked, it won't be tight, it won't be tight to the plate inside, and you'll get your torque whatever you think you're supposed to get, and it will be false um, because part of it is the friction on the ground, the tire friction on the ground holding it and holding this plate off, and then you're getting the torque between the ground and this. This is in the air. I know you mechanics might be upset with me with this one, but hey, I hope you appreciate the uh, what, you, what I show you here. Again, and it doesn't matter whether you WD-40, grease, lithium grease, any grease you want, because each one is going to be an individual child you're going to address. Each one's going to get an individual respect. Uh, the other thing I do when I had this off is I lube the hell out of it. Ran the nut all the way through, ran it all the way out, each one. And then that individual nut that came off this one went back on this one. So they're married. They're, they're, the marriage is still there. So 
Um, I just don't toss them in a lid and just say, eh, it'll work on the next one. Let's consider it. Let's consider that it's been married for so many years. Let's keep the marriage going. Let's don't mix up the marriage, you know, whatever they call that stuff, polygama, poly, whatever. Let's don't do that. Let's keep the marriage the same and keep the profile of each bolt not the same. All right, hopefully this was helpful for you. Gotta clean this up. Oh, yeah, and I do clean the uh, plates up and things like that with, uh, with, um, I don't have it with me right now, wire brush. And we're done here. Take care, guys. Oh, and you don't have to go back in a few miles and check this. As you may, if you go to the dealer, maybe you do. But this is clamped, all right? If you want to make sure it's not going, if you're worried about vibration or something like that, you can mark this with a yellow marker or count the threads back. You can go crazy trying to do something like that. Don't, don't worry about that. Remember, if you're going to check the torque, you got to check it off the ground. I'm sorry, that's my position, 100%. Oh, yeah, you can look in there and see how I cleaned the back of the back plate. See how nice and smooth that is in the back? That's because I use a sander on it and an angle grinder. No, I'm kidding. Wire brush. Wire brush specifically, guys, not, not, a, not a grinder or a sander. You might grind away, uh, make uneven spots. All right, take care. Oh. Um, yeah, someone sent me something on the Titan, which I already spoke about before, that University of Washington, they're lying about not um, participating in it. That In fact, they did the engineers, that remote thing. Uh, I haven't looked at your link yet. I will look at your link. I gave you my phone number because you were nice enough to do that. Uh, put me up to speed to that. I'll take a look at it in a few minutes, in fact, after I clean up. But the, uh, I'm going to post this now. But the uh, University of Washington, nor the... Um, um, Boeing can, gets a free ride. They did allow them to use their testing, Boeing. Uh, Boeing used, I think it was Boeing let them use their uh, autoclave, and then uh, and NASA let them rent down the one down in Maryland, if I got it right, NASA let them rent down in Maryland the, uh, the pressure chamber, which of course was air, not water, just so you know, it's air pressure that they use down there, and not water pressure. Okay. You say we're one and the same? Tell me how they're one and the same. Take care. Love you guys. Bye. It's, it's pressure, but are they the same? Question mark. Something to challenge your brain with.